It's Saturday Night Live. What is your name? I'm Debbie. What's your name? I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Chad. Hi, Chad. I'm Debbie. What's so, up? What's up? Is there uh, a pizza for us? Pro probably. We can probably have some. You get it. You have it. I hate the Italians, but I do love pizza. What do you do here? I'm just an intern. Don't really do much yet. I see. And you? I work in accounting. Ooh. I know what you make. <laughs> <laughs> you too. I don't care. Not enough. You must all be wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Well, you are all going to be involved in a new skit for SNL. Now, our marketing department has been getting tired of the same old, same old, and we want to branch out and reach diverse audiences. So, that's where you come in. In front of you, see these packets. And in these packets is information about you and you. All of you. This here is Kylie Mooney. She's been working here for quite some time now, that's and also she knows how the whole process goes around here. She'll be guiding you through all of it. Um, oh, <laughs> by the way, you group, your group, one of three groups competing for the best skit. Just a pitch, just a pitch. Don't have to create the whole skit. But if you can create the best pitch, well, there might be a little bit of a monetary compensation. Mm. I like that. We'll let you take it away. Hey guys, let's just start brainstorming. There are no bad ideas. Do you have like an outline you want us to work with? Anything we just wanted to extend past our writing team and see what happens. All right. Imagine this. There's an alien who gets abducted by a human. Boom. How long have you been here? I just got here, but I'm minoring in cinema arts. I've been. I've seen every SNL skit since '75. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a major in cinema arts. I actually went to UCLA for it. Uh, and not to brag, but Johnny Depp is my cousin. As I was saying, the alien works for a company called Pear. That's a spin-off on Apple. The humans that capture her are Apple geniuses trying to create the next iPhone 50. Sounds like a Gen Y thing. Is that the new iPhone or something? No, she is referring to the generation you are a part of. The youth today. Pears, apples. When I was little, we had bananas. That's it. A perfect day. Me and mon petit banana. A beautiful day in Paris. Now, normally, Kylie would bring everyone back to focus in on the sketch, but uh, we're really trying to watch these dynamics play out in the real natural habitat. See the cultural differences, see the generational differences. So what she's doing right now is actually perfect. I'm young, yeah, you're old, the sky's blue. Any other obvious things you want to point out? Alright guys, it's nice here. 
Yeah, so anyways, we'll have Kristen Wiig bringing Donald Trump as the abduction is happening, speak on aliens. We need at least four explosions, most of them Ferraris. Maybe throw in a dodo bird just for fun. We'll do it all. Do not text. We are in a meeting. Oh, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm hmm? just... I'm just crunching the numbers. It's a lot of zeros. Yeah, I'm not sure it's going to fit the budget. Look at me. Really look at me. Right here. In my four eyes. Men? These men. They will try to overpower you your whole life. You speak up for yourself, young lady. I mean, I really like all these ideas, I just... Yay! They're great ideas. <laughs> We've seen two sociocultural differences playing out in the workplace. Live. The workspace. Gender differences and professional differences. Did you see the way that the accountant wouldn't make eye contact with him? And she's looking at everything through the lens of numbers and figures. And our, oh, our intern, he's a dreamer. Bless his heart. He has no idea how much any of this costs. He's fascinating. Look at him. Lady. I know that you're worried about all the numbers and the details and all the little things, but this idea is perfect. I disagree. Oh, what's your issue now, Graham? I think it is stupid, and this young lady here has the numbers to prove it. SNL is rich, don't you guys know that? They may try to take the cheap route, but that's just so people on top have more money. We should take back and utilize the money for the best skip. We will live like kings if we spend like kings. How does that work? Once we show our level of skill and that our idea is worth the money, they will do whatever we say. We can put ourselves in our own skit, then we can become famous and have like a billion followers on like Twitter. Stalkers? No, no, I would not like that. They don't actually follow you around. They follow you on social media. They know where I am? Oh, it's just an internet thing. Plus, I'm not even sure they're going to give us the money. Uh, the internet. You know, social media like Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube, Facebook. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a LinkedIn and then MySpace. Exactly. I love MySpace. <laughs> my personal space. Never go in my personal space. MySpace isn't cool anymore. Oh. Listen, guys. We have to spend money in order to make money. That's the thing. Okay guys, we are competing against another group and they will take the price into consideration. Let's be realistic. What if instead of humans abducting aliens, we interview humans who were abducted by aliens? Thoughts? Ah, I have the perfect crisis for the government officials for when they interview the humans. Oh, are you a costume? We, oui, 34 years. I used to work in Paris. You used to work in Paris? How long did you live there? Did you have any kids there? Did you have any boyfriend there? Did you have any pets there? Are you? Is it too many personal questions? I'm sorry. So, cultural differences. The French are very private. They like to keep their work life and their personal life separate. She was very uncomfortable by all those personal questions. Can we get back to that idea? So what kind of characters do we want to be interviewed? What kind of character traits would work? We could do a kid that compares an experience to a video game like Fortnite. Fortnite! I love that cooking game. It was my favorite back in the home country. God, you're old. I have had enough of your mouth. You need to show more respect. Oh, there is no respect. The kids, no respect. Oh, no respect. Nothing. Respect gone. Oh. So, because you're old, you immediately get my respect? I was taught that respect was earned. I haven't seen you give any good ideas within the group. How am I supposed to respect you as a colleague? 
Cultural differences? Check. Oh, hey, so Adeline is French, clearly. And according to my research about France, they have a high score on power distance and a high score on individualism. So we can see that this sort of thing manifests um, in a high respect for elders. They, they think that elders should be very respected and higher than in America. So we should keep watching and see their reactions. I mean, she has lived a lot of life, you know? Well, again, and I want to point out more things that are obvious. I don't think having wrinkles and eating prunes automatically means everyone has to respect them. You stupid America! I simply ask that you do not insult me. I have seen so much in my lifetime. Yeah, but was Napoleon as bad as everyone said? Why don't we treat everyone with a level of respect? I think things would flow a lot better if we did. Don't you think, Kylie? Yeah, I think maybe we can move along. Beaucoup de croissants avec mon tête parce qu'on m'a dit dans la gare de voir coup de surtout et stupide idiot. I do love when SNL does those big commercial skits. Have you guys ever seen those? Duh. Okay, this is good too. What product do we want to advertise for? It's a perfect idea. A drive through escargot. It is both French and American. What about the alien skit? No, no, no. I mean, this is perfect. We can even have like McDonald's serve escargot and get the reactions of people. Wouldn't that be funny? Oui, the person can ask them if they want to try the new dish, and this stupid American can say it tastes like rubber. Why are we brainstorming a new idea? What happened to the alien thing? We just want to try a few different ideas. That's dumb. Why would we try a different one if we have a good one? Aliens are in. Almost every video I see on Twitter is about aliens. Ever since that one alien video has been trending. If SNL did an alien sketch, it would blow up like every social on uh, every social media. Social media? Was the followers? Oh no no. I do not want people following me around. No. No aliens. We do the dress as cargo. This is why you're kept in the back of the costume department. Uh, social media is like a huge avenue to gain traction. And trust me, no one would want to follow you. I mean, that is a good point. I'm sure we could post either video on Facebook and it would go viral. It's a stupid idea, and Facebook is stupid too. One time, I had a friend who is a pretty famous vlogger, by the way, showed footage of a crop circle in his hometown and went viral. Turns out the lady who owned the land just had an out of control lawnmower. She was in the hospital for three days. Well, now that the alien idea isn't as expensive, I could see it possibly working. I just, I don't know if it's funny enough. What if we got Ryan Gosling? Attractive man, this kid? That's cheesy. Well, having him in the video would up the views. <laughs> Have you seen that man? Yeah, I am not impressed. How about we take a vote? You know, this is not the worst possible idea. And trust me, I've seen bad ideas. I mean, if, if I could just add, I do work in finances for the department. We get crazy ideas all the time, but we just have to work with it. I mean, we get creative and we make it work. I feel like if our group chooses the most expensive idea, though, they probably just won't select us. You are now a dreamer. It's not a real dreamer, it's about being realistic. And now, you can notice your professional differences causing tension in the group. We're going to walk in, but uh, I kind of want to watch this play out. Let's see how that happens. I don't understand why we can't just have aliens. No, it's aliens is not good. Not good aliens. Guys, 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 guys. Shall we vote? I just feel like, I swear if you say I feel like one more time, 
You're getting on my nerves. I, I don't understand. I feel like I will say whatever I want. No, 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 no. I am so right now. So Aliens are a thing. I don't, you should not feel anything. Oh, I do not like you. Not one bit. A stupid dude on the bed. I was supposed to go home a couple hours ago. I am so glad I didn't. Ah, this this is all too good. Oh, I'm gonna stop it. Alright, alright, all right, everyone. Alright, thank you. Thank you all for your time. Uh, thanks for um, you know, taking time out of your your busy schedules and everything to come here today and uh Help us with this experiment. Mm, what you say? Mm, that it's all for the bad. Uh, I mean, skit. Help us with the skit. Um, right. Uh, thanks. You three experienced the first verified case of alien abduction, so naturally you are of great interest to the United States government. <laughs> Nuts, man. I mean. So, uh, what skit did they choose? They were gonna make a skit that uh, displayed the socio diversity and uh, show all the tension, you know. Oh, they came with it, but they uh, they went with the alien idea they came up with instead, huh? Yeah. This was way funnier. Way funnier. 